Hey everyone, Mtash here, and this wasn't gonna be the main topic of the video, but this might actually be huge news because typically when a gotcha game celebrates, that means we get free wishes. And if you look at the launch of the game, when we were hitting different milestones for the game, uh, you can go back and you can see all the wishes that you can get. I'll actually cut to a little clip of that right now. So not only did I get fatter since making this video, <laughs> Uh, a lot of these rewards aren't available in-game anymore either. There were pre uh, primo gems for the launch appreciation, there was login rewards, but also 10 acquainted fates. I think there was 10 intertwined fates as well, maybe even 20. There was quite a few wishes for you to get for free just from playing and logging into the game at the start. And, you know, it's not like they've been completely cheap long-term in Genshin, maybe a little bit more stingy lately, but they've given us some four-star characters uh, here and there, and they have, you know, gone on record and, and given us some primo gems. The only thing is they've also did things like the, um, you know, the was it 1.3, where they're like, we're giving away a billion primo gems, and everyone got like a 108 primo gems or something stupid. Maybe with this million subscriber and 100,000 subscriber plaque, they're gonna do something for the community along the lines of Primo Gems, 1,600 Primo Gems. Maybe they'll give us more. Maybe they'll give us 10 wishes. Maybe they'll give us five. Maybe they'll give us a couple hundred. I don't know, but I wanted to bring this up because there could be some more wishes on our way soon. And that's exciting because Bal is coming. Um, What's the water mermaid? I don't look at leaks too much, and I can't remember. <laughs> Kokima? Kokima? Just don't, just don't bug me. I know I'm a trash content creator, but I'm excited about the Primo Gems. Right? We got new banners in 2.1, and the anniversary is around the corner. So maybe they're getting us ready and prepped to get a couple free wishes, get us addicted, and then spend a whole bunch of money on the new banners, right? <laughs> right? That's pretty much it, though. For this part of it i just wanted to touch on it really quickly because honestly this might be hype but i wanted to talk about theater mechanicus because there's one thing that i noticed right off the hop that i was excited about and a couple of other changes that are pretty cool too but first a quick word from our sponsor this video is sponsored by dragon quest tact if you're looking for a new strategy game with a ton of different monsters to collect bosses to fight, and even PvP, Dragon Quest Tact is always updating, and right now is the perfect time to jump in. Alongside their regular updates, they're currently doing a six-month anniversary, where you can get tons of free monsters, experience, upgrade materials, and everything you need to get going with Dragon Quest Tact. Links are down below, click that, download it, enjoy this game for free, and let's get back into the content. So this event actually changed quite a bit from the last time. Before, you'd be able to go into all these sections, you would use a currency to upgrade them, and if you wanted to focus on, you know, one or two of them, and just use those every time, you pretty much could. It might hurt you depending on the map that you were doing, if there was a bunch of cryo slimes and you're trying to slap them with, you know, cryo, it's not gonna work out for you. Um, but you could go at your own pace and upgrade them, but they've completely changed that system, and it's almost like a roguelike. Now, honestly, I put a lot of time into the last Theater Mechanicus, and I would have loved to see some of my upgrades uh, continue on into the next one. You know, I, I put in time, I upgraded these things. It would be nice to have some sort of bonus, but this is a fresh slate. Now, as you play through, each round you're going to get these different sticks, these little fortunes, or whatever you want to call it, that will buff up your towers. So it does feel like a roguelike. There's some that have pros and cons, some of them that are better than others, and depending on the map, you're going to have to adjust as you play. Some of them even change how the tower interacts, turning a fire turret into one that is raining a firestorm down on the enemies. And I honestly think that is pretty cool, and it's kind of a nice touch. I would love to be able to kind of specialize and choose my own stuff, but as a roguelike type, you know, what, what do you want to call it? Tower defense game? It's kind of fun, and it's relatively chill. And it's relatively low stress, and it's pretty easy overall, and that's cool because there's a lot of Primo Gems available for a very limited amount of work. Now, there's more stuff launching in a few hours, but I just did the first four levels here, right? And I was able to get the Primo Gems uh, right away. It's 420 Primo Gems. 
which is nothing to sneeze at, right? And uh, this took, what, 30 minutes, maybe? Maybe 40 minutes? Uh, and I even have a couple if I wanted to buy some of these. But, you know, this is essentially a, like three purple books and a little bit extra. This is three purple scrolls. And uh, you also, because you're getting a variety here, if you're trying to level up the main character, boom, you've got multiple scrolls there. You need multiple of each one. That's honestly kind of fire. They're throwing 30 of these bad boys at you, and that's quite a bit of resin. That is multiple runs of resin. And uh, you've got the hero wits as well. And we got some Mora, right? 200,000 Mora, some, some Heroes Wit. I can't complain for how easy this event is. And I guess I wanted to just know, do you like this version of Theater Mechanicus more or less? I personally really enjoyed being able to upgrade my own stuff and kind of min-max that. But this one, it almost feels a little bit more fresh because I have to use different stuff every time. On most of the maps, I would just spam the same thing every time. It would always work, and I didn't really have to think about it. This is a little bit more replayable for me, I suppose. But it's a pretty chill event. You know, I personally love combat events more than stuff like this, but I'm glad that people got to enjoy this, even if it's in a different form than the original, uh, original Theater Mechanicus. But guess what? They brought it back. They brought it back, they changed it up, they kept it fresh, and that means that they can do that for multiple other activities in the future. Who is to say we can't go back to the Golden Apple Archipelago? Who is to say we can't enjoy some of these things that have come and gone in the past that many people have complained about, especially myself? I've been frustrated that we get all this content and then it goes away, but they are bringing it back for us to enjoy. Now, some of it, I mean, boys, I wanted to talk about this one too. Some of the events, this one is fine, but this is not the most fun content ever. I would have loved to do like a boss rush instead of this, but at least people were able to get their pets, but throw the pets in the boss rush or something, you know? Um, there are some events that I think definitely shine in this game, but there's some that I feel like they're just there to give us primo gems and they're not very fun, like the food delivery. And so the more often they can do these kind of original events, like Theater Mechanicus, like the boss uh, fighting events, any sort of arena where there's lots of enemies, those are the things I really enjoy and I hope they continue with and bring back and kind of reimagine things we've done in the past. Even the, um, what's it called? Like the meteors with Fischl, that's way back. You, you might not even know what that is, but there was a whole meteor event where you could get a free Fischl. I feel like they've brought bits and pieces back and they've taken some mechanics and they brought them back. But even this Beto event that just went on, like this one right here, I think this was an overall a pretty good event. There was lots of enemies to fight. There was a couple little bonuses and mechanics to go through. And stuff like this is always more appealing to me, even if it is on the easier end overall. But I just wanted to kind of talk about the different events and some of the changes. And I wanted to talk about hopefully some free Primo Gems or Wishes or something uh, coming because of this celebration. So hot off the press. That's it for me. Thank you so much. Make sure to check out Dragon Quest Tact. Links are down below, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.